Today I'm going to show you how you can import data packs into Minecraft Java Edition. And now you're actually pretty lucky because it is really, really simple. Anyways, first off, you just want to make sure that you have a data pack. I've got mine right over here. Make sure that yours is also in an easy to access location, just like your desktop, as you can see. Anyways, if you want to find more cool data packs, I'll link a few websites in the description where you can find some. And I'll also actually link a video by me in the description where you can find out how to make a data pack for yourself. Anyways, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and launch Minecraft. Now, do make sure that you know the version of your, your pack is for, right? So some data packs can be made for different versions of Minecraft. Usually, you can find the version of your pack wherever you downloaded it, right? And if you're still not sure, then just try out the latest version. To import your data pack once Minecraft has been launched, you want to go over to single player and then select any world you want your data pack to be enabled for. Yeah, so you, I'm just going to select this 1.20 redstone world I have right over here, which has literally nothing in it. And I'm going to click on the edit button in the bottom left. And then you want to click on the open world folder button right there. And as you can see, that's going to open the world's folder. Then inside of that folder, you want to look for another folder called data packs. As you can see, I found mine right over here. And you just want to go into that. Mine is empty because I don't have any data packs enabled for this world. However, I do have my data pack down here. So I can go ahead and drag this right into there. And once you've made sure it's in there, you should be good. Now, you can also copy this and then save it to another place as well if you want to enable it for multiple worlds. And now if you do want to enable it for multiple worlds, just repeat this step a few times for each world. Anyways, once you have done that, you can just close this folder and click on save and then you can just launch up your world. Now the great thing is that most data packs will just automatically be enabled now. So um, that is great. As you might have already read, the data pack I was using was called item pots. And basically what it allows you to do is to place down a pot and then to throw an item into it if you can throw well. Just like that, as you can see, and then you can break the pot and the item will come back out. Um, you can't do it multiple times, as you can see, only takes one item, or you can throw a bunch of items at the same time, just like that. And then when you break the pot, they all come out again. Pretty cool, isn't it? Uh, if you like that pack, then you can, I'll, I'll link it in the description. Um, I usually do these videos with my own packs, but today I didn't. I don't know why. Anyways, um, basically, that was that. It is really simple, as you can see. Uh, and it worked perfectly. If it, however, for you did not work perfectly or you have any more questions whatsoever, then please feel free to leave those down in the comments below. However, for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.